Here goes Chris. Bravely down straight into the shaft. Yeah, past the brambles my way. Oh, that tree is handy. Um. Yeah, how's that figure of eight? Oh, that's good. Just hold, hold the other end of the rope <laughs> with both hands. Yeah, Chris is going down. It's a little bit slimy as you go down. It's a bit of an open cut, open cut as opposed to a shaft. And then I'll go next. No, but it felt really like it felt fine. It's just the rope got really wet, and I forgot to use gloves. Oh, just made it down. So it's not that high up. It's just that it's really, really wet. And well, it's uh, high up, does that mean this is the second ledge all the hand, isn't it? It goes up and it's quite high up. Yeah. Oh, is that sheep, sheep um, carcass, well, bones. <laughs> sheep skeleton, that's, that's oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. And then it goes off down there and it gets really dark in there because I've not even got my torch on. <laughs> yeah, that's where it gets quite dark. There's one level there, there's one level here. But we're oh. just going to go to the side. It's very slippery, so I don't think I can film any further. But, ooh, spooky. That's a spooky Halloween edition. So, that's where we're going. To a secret coffin level. Very spooky for Halloween. It's so scary here. There's just, like, little levels going off always. Ooh, let's see what we can find there. Actually, I need to get my torch. Yeah. Ooh, we've just gone inside the coffin level and it's tiny. My God, it's absolutely tiny. Obviously, we can't stand. And Chris definitely can't stand. And Chris has got a ginormous torch, which he has no use for. Don't blind me. It's quite rude using such a torch in a small, tiny little level. Yeah. Oh, I can, I can hear the echo. My God, it's quite scary. I might just put my... Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. Yeah, it got a little bit muddy here, maybe from all the rainfall. Oh, echo. echo! Echo! It goes round and com comes back oh. and around. All oh, the pink marks on the walls. Oh my god, you can see all the handwork there. So people just literally carved it out, like down, chiseled down. Oh my god. This must, this is really old by the way, this is like um, 400 years old. How's that for a size for you? Tiny. Eee, water, eee. Oh. oh, but isn't that beautiful? It's literally coffin level in its true sense where you could just stand up a coffin and just push it through. Just enough of that. And you can see all the pick marks here, really clearly. Oh. Wow. Actually, right at the end there, the pick marks, yeah, that's where the most visible. So, because they didn't have any explosives back in the day, so, you know, medieval era. So, yeah, it's just pick marks. They go all along the wall. Unbelievable. Oh, you will have a bad back after today. 
That's guaranteed. Oh, and it turns now, almost a 90 degree turn. Oh my God. I said I was gonna leave my rucksack and completely forgot. Ah, oh, there's a little bit of stacked material, but obviously not too much because there's not a lot of space. So we're going deeper and deeper and deeper into the coffin level and it's getting lower and lower. Whoa, look how narrow is that? Oh God, it's really, really narrow. This is the best coffin level I've ever seen. Chris, look how narrow it's, like how narrow it gets. Then Chris has been folded in half for the purposes of efficiency. Oh, yeah. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, that's like a proper coffin. I love this. Oh my god, it gets better and better. This coffin level is amazing. Oh, look at that shape. It's beautiful. Oh, it's extraordinary. And look how smooth the walls are. So you know when you get hand carved levels like this, they're so smooth. Because obviously, well, the dynamite could never get it so smooth. And there's a structure, a structure, a formation. This is where it's been trickling down from the roof. And this looks like a dead end. But it's actually not because it turns again around the corner and the echo at this point is getting insane. This is a proper Halloween experience. I can I can actually stand up. Chris probably can't. But I can. And here he is. Ah, here he is. You can almost stand in here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Isn't not it? too bad. It's in a shape of a proper coffin shape, though. It's exactly it's a proper, proper coffin shape. One of the most perfect coffin levels I've ever seen. Oh, look at the pick marks at the end. It's like scratch marks, like scratch mark of a mind-dwelling, flesh-eating monster. <laughs> yeah, it does, it echoes. It's like you say something and you hear, it, you hear yourself saying it far away. Oh, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> like across the landslide now, right? No, it's it's just it's all an illusion. Oh, it's just that spray just amazing. It keeps on going. Oh no, it gets really tiny at the end. I think we're gonna have to crawl on our knees. There's a bit of a, I don't know why, there's, maybe there's been a fall. Oh, there's a frog. Oh my God, I got scared. <laughs> oh, poor frog. Oh my God. And it's going further and further and further into the mine. Right, this gets ridiculously narrow. So that's my welly. There's literally just enough space. Oh, so it's crazy hearing yourself talk somewhere far away. <laughs> Spooky. Oh God, it gets really narrow. Oh. oh my God, this is too narrow. Oh. Squeezy, squeezy. You're still fitting through. Right. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, it's tiny. Oh. <laughs> it's the 
gonna get ridiculous. Oh, oh let's see how Chris struggles. <laughs> and that's what helmets are for. <laughs> this, is, this is hard work, yeah. Oh, uh, well, there's this really narrow bit, and then I think it looks like it's opening up. Oh, God, I'm really not doing a very good job filming. It's just too difficult. Someone was saying you should have a stabiliser, and I think they were right, but then it's just difficult enough to carry things. Anyway. Oh. Stand up. Whew. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> oh, well, if you stay in there, I'll take a picture. Ooh. Can you smell it? It's like really damp and quite like a little bit strange. I don't know. I think that's the end of the line. Is it? Yeah. Because that's, that's completely running, and that's running as well. So that's where it used to go off that direction. And this one is running as well. Or maybe they even changed their mind for this one. But that's the end of the line. Oh, that's a really good one for Halloween. Yeah, that's all you've come from. Well, that's it, we've reached the end of the line and now we're gonna go back through that tiny, tiny little level back in there. And we were gonna need to fold Chris in half again. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna film it because it really is hard going, so see you in a bit. And let's see what else is there in this amazing place. <laughs>